All right, let's add some charts. Our first step is to click on Insert. Then I'm going to choose my data by highlighting it. I'm not going to include the title. I can do that separately. Uh, sometimes it's going to work out for you where the title is going to be exactly where you want it, and sometimes it doesn't work out so well, so I'd prefer to uh, keep it separate. So I'm going to choose the type of graph I want, in this case a column. Immediately it goes to my chart tools. This is my design. I can change the chart layout if I'd like. I can change the colors. Let's see. Let's go with that one. I can also go to the layout, add axis titles. For example, um, I'm going to do the horizontal axis. Click in that box and say subjects. I can double click my chart title and type in what is your favorite subject. I can change this right here to series. Oops. I can get rid of it if I want. So back to the layout, I can add uh, the, sp the numbers on top of the uh, chart if I'd like. Right here, it's centered, inside, and I can also have more options to choose from. So I can put the category name right next to it as well and have it separated either by space or by a new line so it's really r up to you uh, in this case I don't need the category name so that's going to be uh, that kind of data set as you can see this data set is written a little differently but you can still do a chart with this one in this case I'm going to go ahead and try a pie chart you can do that way do the percentages I can again go to the layout change the chart title I can add values next to the percentages in this case it looks pretty nice and uh, if I don't like the comma look I can put new line so it'll say six and the percentage right underneath it and finally I'm gonna go to the la my last data site which would be let's say I'm recording plant growth highlight that go to my insert and in this type of graph I like doing a line chart or a line graph and here it is right here I can label these again I can go to the change the way that looks I can go to the layout start adding some axis titles for the horizontal and vertical and change all that so as you can see here we have lots and lots of options so go ahead and check it out for yourself.